Hey guys, Travis here at Riot Studios for the summer promotion tournament. A bunch of teams duking it out for fifteen thousand dollars on the line, ten thousand first place. I'm joined by Locust from Team Summoner. Is it Summoner or Summoners? Summon. Team, team Summon. Yeah. Team Summon, formerly Square Duck. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, you know what what you uh, what's been going on with you. So you're now on Team Summon. For those that don't know, you used to be the support for Team Dignitas as of like about six six eight months ago, something like that. Uh, so what's been going on with you since then? Um, well, I've still been playing League of Legends with a couple teams. Uh, the team before Square Duck, I was playing with Atlanta and a few other people, and then uh, Square Duck decided to pick me up. So I've been with them for the last since January. So, and then I've been in school as well. So school and League of Legends still. Yeah, it's pretty much. It's a good good balance. So how did you how did you end up on Square Duck? You said that they sort of reached out to you. Um, yeah, I forget who was the support for the team, but he had to do something one day, so they asked me to sub, and they just decided I fit the team really well, yeah. so I just stuck around, and, uh, and yeah, I guess it's worked out really well. Yeah. The team's a lot of fun to play with, so. So now, now you guys are Team Summon, uh, this is just like a sponsor that picked you up. I saw you had like Potato Monster on the back of your shirt. Yeah, Potato Monster picked us up. They're, they're doing a site called Team Summon, so that's how we got our name. And, uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to that. Really cool. So you, you guys actually are going to be able to compete in the qualifier for, like, the promotion tournament down the road. This is, like, the, the qualifier, but you guys are already in it, basically, uh, because Curse Academy can't be there. Mm -hmm. So what do you think your chances are there? I know you sort of had a rough game today. Yeah, so I'd say our chances are pretty slim, but, you know, it's still a chance, and we'd like to take it and because uh, we do have to replace – uh, two players that are too young to compete, so that's Flares and Slacko. So that, that's going to hurt, but I think we can still put up a pretty good show. Any idea on who you guys are going to be replacing them with? Uh, we, yeah, we haven't really discussed yet because we, we wanted to focus on this tournament and unfortunately it didn't work out, but yeah. Well, interested to see who, who ends up coming on. Uh, do you see any of the teams uh, in the LCS that are there right now sort of as like low-hanging fruit? Any, any teams you think you could knock out? Um... Uh, if any team, I think GGU just hasn't really been playing as well as they should be. Um, other than that, maybe Marn if they mess up or or complexity. But yeah, it's it's gonna be tough no matter what, no matter who we play. Yeah. So, you know, there's been a lot of discussion recently about the amateur scene. Uh, MLG Rising Stars getting canceled, IPL going away. I just sort of wanted to get your take on where what you think of the amateur scene right now as somebody who's uh, very much involved in it. Yeah, it, yeah, it needs help. Um, there's just not really enough events because uh, this is my team's first LAN event, and it's a pretty big event, or, or would have been if uh, we really had to compete for an LCS spot. Right. Um, and it's still a lot of money, but it was our first event, and our next event is the, uh, the LCS qualifier. So there's... Uh, just not enough events. It, uh, it, it would be nice to see more. Um, yeah, and not just LAN events, but also online events with with Rising Stars gone. Um, yeah, I, I think just the ESL Premier League is really the only one we're playing in regularly, and then scrims as well. Yeah, so just more games would be nice. Yeah. So wrapping up, uh, what what do you guys got now? You're gonna go back and sort of figure out who you're gonna replace and get ready for the uh, the promotion tournament itself. Right, yeah, we were hoping to put on a good show and, and to see who wanted to join, but that didn't happen. So, yeah, we're going to have to start start uh, asking around and seeing, uh, yeah, what, where the amateur scene's at, yeah. So any shout-outs or plugs you want to make at the end of the interview? Yeah, uh, to Potato Monster, for sure, uh, for picking us up, and uh, to our manager, Tony. He's been helping out a lot, so it's been nice of him. Great. Hey, thanks so much for the interview. Uh, best of luck whenever the promotion tournament ends up it's, uh, ends up happening in, I believe, just a couple of weeks. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. This has been uh, Travis at the Riot Studios for the summer promotion tournament. You can check out the rest of our coverage at GameSpot.com slash LCS.